I think it's in strong competition to be the worst foreign policy decision in the history of our country. Most people would have given that honor to George Bush's decision to invade Iraq, but now there's a competitor. Otherwise, I think it's great. Clearly, this is just one of many areas where President Trump and the Republican Congress has sought to undo policies put in place by the previous administration. Partly, this is the job of the opposition is to oppose, and, and they opposed it pretty much automatically. If, as I assume, this move will turn out badly, then, of course, it will rebound positively to Obama's legacy. People will have realized it was a good deal. It was foolish to move out of it. And the question is, will they prevail? Will it be popular? Or will the public ultimately choose an alternative. I think we've already seen that with the Affordable Care Act, where the more it was attacked, the more effort was made to repeal it, the more popular it got. The best case scenario is that the Europeans rebuff American attempts to penalize their trade with Iran. They continue to trade and invest with Iran. Iran continues to abide by the deal, and Trump has his cake and eat it too, in effect. He, he gets to walk away from the deal without actually leading Iran to resume production of nuclear materials. There, I think the damage is to America's reputation and influence uh, with the major countries of the world. I mean, it's notable that this move was not supported by any member of the G7, any member of NATO, any member of the EU, any Asian state. It wasn't supported by any member of the G20 except Saudi Arabia. It's hard to imagine how the United States could be more isolated. I don't think any president has had so little regard for Western solidarity as a component of American strength and influence in the world. I think it sets a very poor precedent. Just the wild irresponsibility of pulling out of a solemn agreement. And now President Trump has said that he'll do a tough deal and, and he can be trusted to carry it out. But the question isn't whether Trump will carry out a deal he agrees to, it's whether his successor will carry out a deal he agrees to. So what is the leader of North Korea gonna think about the durability of any agreement with the United States? So I don't think one can make a prediction, but I don't think one can have any firm and, and well-grounded view of how this affects Obama's legacy. Time will tell.